Hello, welcome to this presentation of Mobile to Sage. My name is Aura Martirosian and I'm going to show you how to uh, process a sales order on an iPhone using Mobile to Sage and then import that into Sage. So what's Mobile to Sage? Well, it's an architecture which allows you to communicate information from your office to your mobile devices, iPhones, iPads, browsers, Macs, PCs and so on. It works both online and offline and it can work on any version of Sage. It can also communicate with uh, things like OneDrive, Dropbox and FTP as we'll see later in this presentation. So let's just jump into the demo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look on my iPhone and uh, I'm going to process, uh, pick a customer, process an order. And then having processed the order, I'm going to be uh, sending that back to the customer as a PDF. And uh, having sent it back as PDF, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, automatically save that into the FTP and Dropbox accounts. And then I'm going to import that into Sage. So let's go and have a look at it. So here's my mobile to Sage application and what I can see here is all my customers uh, that have been synced into Sage. So I'm going to pick A1 design and this gives me an overview of what the customer is and so on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an invoice. So I'm going to press the add invoice button and that brings me into a new order. So this new order will then allow me to add extra lines and pick things from my stock record. So let's do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add extra lines and I'm going to pick two of these tapes. Great, and I'm just going to add that to the order. Great, but let's say I'm looking for some beef products. So I can go in here and I'm going to say beef. I'm going to search for anything which is beef. There we are. So I'm going to have, uh, I don't know, two of these and three of these. Having done that, I can then just add that up and I've now got a three line order, which I'm now going to save. Done. Now. When that order has been saved, I can add extra things to it. So I've got order details on there. I've got delivery details. I can have notes, analysis codes, or I can in fact have a signature. So let's have a signature. So I'll just click on that and I'll just uh, sign that. There's my signature all done. And having done that, what I want to do is I want to send uh, an email to my customer who's just bought these products. I'm going to have a look at that in a minute and a copy is going to myself for uh, purposes. In the background, what it's also done is it saved that to my FTP site and a Dropbox account as well uh, for good measure. Great. That's it. So that bit's now done. So let's go and have a look at it in Sage. As you can see, there are two orders outstanding at the moment. There's the A1 design one, which is the one I've just done which is the tape and the beef and what have you. And there was a BB Soul one from earlier. So I've got two product invoices to go in. So all I now need to do is just press one button to import them into Sage. So if I have a look at that, the last invoice was 419. So all I do is just literally press one button and I can have multiple salespeople on multiple iPhones and iPads uh, processing orders uh, uh, ad hoc. And once a day, once a week, once an hour, whatever it is, uh, the administrator back at the base can just press that one button and bring them into Sage. Or in fact, that could be put onto a scheduler. And you can see at the bottom, backup emails are being sent to me as well in terms of what the system is going to be doing. Okay, so that's now finished that. So let's go and have a look at that in Sage. So if I refresh that, there we are. These are my two invoices. There's the Bob one, and that's the um, a1 design one which we just did which has got the tape and the two types of beef on here dead easy very efficient quick to produce on the iphone and one button process to import it into sage so key features you can create pretty much anything on the on the iphone sales orders purchase orders quotes invoices and so on it's excellent for capturing things like timesheets and expenses. And the camera on the iPhone is brilliant for doing things like barcode scanning. So we've got lots of scanning solutions as well. Uh, I invite you to uh, have a look at some of my other YouTube videos. In this example, I demonstrated how you could have customer signatures. And uh, another area where that's very popular is on proof of delivery and things like that. And the system syncs information from both mobile to Sage and the office documents uh, in both directions. So in short, it's Sage on the go. So quick, uh, in terms of key benefits, it's very quick and easy to set up, very cost effective, and there's a free trial. So please feel free to uh, contact us to discuss your requirements and arrange uh, for the free trial if appropriate.
It works on any version of Sage, so there's no need to upgrade. And you can share data with your staff, with your customers, with your suppliers, and uh, any of your stakeholders. It's a very flexible application, and it's used uh, very um, uh, in, in many situations where you may have a paper form that you want to change into a custom iPhone or an iPad or a browser app. So please let us know uh, if uh, that's of interest to you and uh, we'll be uh, very happy to speak to you about creating you a, a, a prototype to test. Thank you very much for your time and interest in Mobile to Sage and I hope you found this presentation of creation of uh, sales orders on an iPhone of interest. Please feel free to drop me an email or uh, give me a call uh, to discuss your requirements. Well, we'll look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.